Welcome to Steelworks and Brewing. My name is Randy, and this is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. Okay, so what do we got going on today? Today, we're going to talk about bubble plates, uh, the different style of bubble plates, and how they work. Okay, so you're not going to want to miss this. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, the first question I got is, what is a bubble plate? Okay, basically, you've got your column, right? You've got your condensing or deflagmator up here, whatever you want to call it. Okay, then you're going to have plates inside your column. So as the vapors are coming up, they're going to hit this uh, condensing unit. It's going to condense that vapor back into a liquid. They're going to fall onto your first plate. And then a plate will have a way of regulating the amount of fluid that's on top of the plate. And it will drop down. Then it will fill the next plate below it. It'll do the same drop down, drop down. Okay? So that's a. So uh, when do we use bubble plates? Okay, bubble plates are mainly used if you want to make, like, say, a neutral spirit. You know, of course, it's going to be very neutral, not very much taste, very little bit. Or if you're making a vodka, something like that, you would use, you could use bubble plates so that you would get high proof and purity. Okay, that's the main thing. Uh, like, for example, if you were making a bourbon, a whiskey, a brandy or something like that, you're trying to get some of the flavors out of the still pot, carry them over into your distillate. So you would not use a, a bubble plate. Bubble plates, you're going to usually run off. It's somewhere in the neighborhood of, let's say 90 to 95% alcohol, okay? So that's a good thing. So there is different types of bubble plates. Uh, if in my last video, the one I was using is a single cap bubble plate. Uh, I had a lot of questions on, was I running it upside down or not? So the answer to those questions are, there is in, this, in the two inch, col uh, two inch column that I'm using, and I'm using the single cap bubble plate, uh, the answer is could be could be both okay so the one I got is modeled after the oak still bubble plate and if you look on the bottom it's pretty much flat okay so with that the cap faces up towards your condenser okay and the way it works is let me take this off Okay, so the way it works is on the center downcomer, uh, let me get something to point with. Okay, so the liquid will build up to here and goes in these holes and then down to the next down to the next plate. Okay, so that is what the oak stills model is. Let me put this back on before I lose something. Okay, so the okay, so the next one, which would be uh, I think it's Crystal Dragon uh, bubble plate. They go the cap facing down, but what the difference is here in the middle, it has a like it's a half inch raised uh, area, so that it will build the liquid up to that point before it goes back down the hole down down. So the vapors will be coming up. They'll go through these perforated holes here 
and then it will maintain that that liquid, okay, or that level of that liquid, okay. <coughs> okay. All right. The first uh, bubble plate, or the next bubble plate, we're going to talk about is one that's more people probably familiar with, and it will have a number of upcomers and usually one downcomer, unless you're getting pretty good size, and you might have two downcomers, okay? And, and what it does is it basically works the same thing, but the plate is not perforated. So the downcomer, let me hear. So here's your plate, right? I'm gonna draw a little bit big. You got a number of upcumbers, and then you're gonna have one downcomer, right? So with that being up like this, and each one of these will have little notches in them. Okay, so the liquid will build up on here and it will maintain a level of the liquid right here. So as the vapors are coming up, they're coming through these caps and they're bubbling underneath the level of the liquid. And when the liquid gets to this level, it goes back down, okay? All right. Okay, so the next one on my list is a sieve tray. Okay, a sieve tray, there's your column. So let's say you got like this, right? Okay, so as the liquid comes down to here, it gathers up on this, on this uh, perforated tray, the fluid will run over and will fill up the next tray until it runs over and it does the same thing over and over again. So the vapors are coming up, interacting with the, the, the puddles that you've created. The next one I'm gonna draw is what they call a perforated plate. Okay, so you basically got a plate like that. And you got a downcomer. And then they usually put a cap on the downcomer, okay? So, this is all full of holes, perforated. The vapors are coming up. Okay, and see this pipe stands up. So you got a level of liquid like that. So the, the vapor coming up is interacting with the, the puddle. The most uh, pure vapors are going to continue going up and the water will go down and it will keep doing this until. So that's the long and the short of bubble plates. There is so much to learn. I just wanted to get out there to put a little bit of food for thought. So if you're uh, interested in moving on to get bubble plates that you have a little bit of food to think about what you want. Uh, you know, something to, so you, you know to ask the questions you need to ask or do the research that you want to see what's gonna do good for you. Now, within me checking, I couldn't find anything that said this one works better than that one or that one works better than this one. I really couldn't find an answer for that. Uh, so I guess the choice would be up to you. Uh, I think they all would work good. I wouldn't have a problem with that. Okay, so like I said, I hope that you got a little bit out of this. I am in no way an expert. Uh, I'm just getting started myself. Uh, there's a lot of people out there who's been trying to help me, send me some good tips. Uh, please continue that. I enjoy all the good input. Uh, I guess that's about it. Okay, so we're all gonna keep learning about these, these bubble plates. And uh, my first use, my first vodka I did with it, I think it turned out very well. Uh, please go back and watch that video. Uh, so, 
there's only one thing I can say. Well, actually two. Hey, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.